Welcome back to Minecraft Survivor Island. <laughs> and we're going back to Survivor, I guess. <laughs> we are surviving by the meat of the hairs on my back. Or something like that. It's along the, something along those lines. So there's a zombie spawner down there. I'm gonna make sure to remember that. Trees haven't grown at all. Stupid trees grow. Well, I guess for now we can make the part that uh, got broke by out of cobblestone. And that's what we can do for now. I'll make a wooden I, uh, hammer. <laughs> Uh, we need some wood very badly. Oh, that not what I meant to do. Let's see. Go up. Alright. Hey, would you look at that? I'm gonna grow up real big. It's good. That means that we will finally it stopped raining. I hate the rain. So we can't leave the island, but how far can we go out in the water? I'm assuming not far since we can't leave the island. But I need that wood. Give me that. Give me that. Alright, thank you. Now this sapling won't grow because this one's in the way. Stupid trees. It's a fight for power for the trees. I heard a sploosh. There's some trees. Oh, there's some trees. There's some birds outside of my house making their noises. Oh, damn. I let go of shift right the wrong second. Break all this and see if I'm missing anything. Or if the tree grew, that's pretty good. That's good too. Everything is going my way so far. We definitely got a good amount of wood from this. Let's just break this last one. I'll finish cutting down the rest of these tomorrow in game. Oh shit. It's turning nighttime again. <laughs> Still no animals, so that means no bed. So I'll again I'm gonna skip the nighttime because it's just me pretty much standing here trying to figure out what to do. A little bit of planning I guess. We're gonna make one chest to the double chest. And we're also going to make a furnace to make the... I, and again, I'm, I'm not going to keep this house like, like this forever. I'm going to eventually change it, but for now, this is what we got. So I'm going to get those bonus points by making the floor out of um, bricks. So... I'll see you in the morning in this game. Okay, welcome back. It's uh, daytime now. And the bricks finished while I was waiting. Now I'm just going to make a few. And I already made a few and put them in, in the floor. There. We have one brick floor. Now we don't have to put one in our next house if we don't want to. And I made some stone tools, just in case. Again, seriously, what the hell? Man. Ugh. All right, well, I guess this is going to happen eventually. I should have seen it coming. 
Stupid ass creepers. I, I saw one like while I was in here. Oh, God damn it. While I was in here, I saw one trying to get inside. But I didn't let him. And then he went away and I didn't know where he went, so I didn't try to go after him or anything. And I guess he was just waiting there for me, being a huge douche. Oh well. And um, one thing I want to talk about today is just people being assholes. Like, what, what, what my argument is, is like people that treat other people like shit. Now, what I want to understand is, what I don't understand is why they do it. I mean, do they do it because they're not okay in their own life? Do they need help of some sort? Because I'm willing to help you if you want help, but stop treating people the way you do. It's just stupid. There's there's no reason people should ever have to go through that type of treatment, I guess. There's, there's no reason anyone should ever have to feel threatened in the workplace, the school, anywhere. People should be able to feel safe anywhere. Or people should be able... Bleh, people should be... Have the ability to feel safe in a work, working slash school condition. So, I mean, it's never going to happen. There's always going to be bullies. But I just, I want to understand the reasoning behind it. Because in, in this society, we're basically all, we're all one of the same. Now, you could say, well, rich people have more power. Well, I beg to differ because there is no such thing as power power in this world. Everyone has the same amount of whatever. Now, some people have more control over things than others do, and usually these are the people that run businesses and such, but they don't treat their employees like shit. I mean, some of them do. Those are bad bosses. But they have, they have the money, they have the building, and I, they don't necessarily have the right to treat other people but like shit, but I guess you, they could if they wanted to. I, I wouldn't. Like, if I was a boss, I'd be a tight-ass boss. Like, seriously, I'd be pretty, I'd be a, I'd be a pretty cool boss, because I know what's up. But, just general stupidity, I guess. It's... It's just retarded, but not much we can do about it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna issue you guys a challenge. And the challenge is not to say anything bad about anyone you know for an entire day. Uh, I've been doing this lately. It's not very easy, but and now I'm you're probably thinking like. Wow, you're an asshole if you think it's hard to treat people nice. No, you go through a day without cussing at one of your friends, even jokingly, because they could take it the wrong way. For all you know, they they could take that the wrong way. They could, um, and I'm, I'm going to start a new, another mine, because that one led to a spawner, and I don't really particularly feel like having to fight a bunch of zombies. So I'm going to try and find a new one but uh yeah I, I just I don't really understand why people feel it's necessary to badmouth other people and to just be assholes there's, there's no like, like I said there's no point to it really other than well I mean if you're if you're feeling bad or you feel like or you're being abused in your household and Blah blah blah. Things happen. It doesn't give you the right, but there there is a good reason behind it. I mean, I mean, what if you're like, I don't know, an abused child, and you turn out to be a bully because all you know is anger from all the times you've been hit and abused. Then. I guess that's kind of what sets you up on that path. But even then, there's still no excuse for being like that. 
I think. Well, I mean, there are there are some things that can lead up to that. There there are some things that could lead up to that that turning into a bully point. And some of them are very understandable. Some of them aren't. It's just the way it is. I'm sorry if I'm yelling into the microphone. I'm also talking to another person. But yeah. I'm going to have to break all this too. Damn it. I hate sand. I hate sand almost as much as I hate gravel. And I hate gravel pretty... I hate gravel a lot. Now we just need to get down to cobblestone. There we go. We're gonna start digging down that way. And I made some stone utensils while I was waiting for it to turn daytime. Now I'm not really sure if I if there are animals on if there are going to be animals on this island. When I first started the other map, there were animals, that's why I don't really understand why there aren't in this save, I guess. Now, I need some coal, because it is not easy to see down here. I'm really hoping I find some. See, you guys probably can't see what I'm even doing right now. It's probably really dark. I can't really see all that well either, but I can. We might have to... Whoa, wait, what is that? Is that dirt? Okay. Ow. Monsters are on, and I don't want to, like, go into a cave and be screwed, even though I have a sword. Alright, I can't see anything. I need I need a torch or two. Go back to the base. God. I hate when the trees get real big like that. Let's see, what do I need to do? First of all, I don't need this many torches in here. I don't need more than one, really. So we'll go back down there. And look. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. That was not a good idea. Alright, we need... There's some coal. Yeah, coal, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get this coal. Make a few torches. Come on, coal, I need you. Let's get these sticks. Make some torches. Torches! 32. That should be good. For right now. I hear a zombie. I hear a zombie man. Well, this is a large cave. I am excited to explore it. Then again, I am not because I have monsters on. Normally, I don't play with monsters on because I like the creativity aspect of this game more than the survival aspect. I think it's I think it's pretty fun to not have to worry about monsters, but then 
I do like to play with the monsters because it is fun to have both.